Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving the fantastic world of Linux after a long time. Yep, that was a long time for me to properly switch to Linux. But today we have the latest of the greatest version of GNU which is GNU 48. And this time it is getting even more beautiful and it's packed with a lot of features. So let's get started. Starting with one of the best features ever is well-being. And I believe this is one of the best update ever because you know digital well-being is just so much important yes i accept that linux is literally one of the most productive operating systems ever but still you need to keep your health in track especially with the digital well-being and this gives you all the you know data which you get in the digital well-being to monitor your screen time and set some screen limits create some reminders for eyesight and do some movement and yeah if you know you can disable it as well so that someone else cannot see how much you use your laptop or PC for. And for the next update, I'm here on the official GNOME operating system. For those who don't know, GNOME actually provides you a full-fledged operating system without any distribution. Like really, you get a properly immutable, beautiful operating system with flat packs. As you can see, it is GNOME OS 48, which means GNOME 48 and the next update is a new audio player which is literally just feels so much alike with the whole design of the system but in order to use this let me just use well looks like i have to download a music in order to use it so if it is copyright free then you will listen it or if it is not then you will not so let's open it and there it is Alright then, so this is better. Now I would say this has a pretty minimal design along with pretty good controls I'd say as of we can see and besides that there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, except a few shortcuts. But all in all I believe this music player actually looks gorgeous. And now in this update GNOME actually made HDR very very accessible. For those displays who actually support HDR and sadly I don't have an HDR monitor or laptop so yep. And then leaving that we have an update in calendar application. Now I will say I prefer the you know GNOME calendar more than the Google calendar and there's a pretty good reason because first it is just so good looking and native to the system. And assigning things and tasks is actually pretty good here like really really good and now we have an option that let's say we are setting a time slot here then we'll have the option to choose the time zone as well well these money improvements are pretty good if we see from far away as just a couple of months ago this wasn't here and leaving that we have better library and literally very big access of flat pack applications like really now these all applications are flat packs because as I said there is no distribution here. This is just a desktop like an operating system and that thing actually works gorgeously. Because first the RAM consumption is just so less. Second all the applications are here. Like flat pack has the biggest largest gallery and like really the biggest library of applications you have all the games and even the emulator for example there's a ps3 emulator i remember this is it rpc s3 this is an experimental open source playstation 3 emulator which is literally just awesome you can play so many applications not applications games here and this is from flat herbs so yep you don't have to worry about whether the application is safe or not because every application is in a container and if i go to the game section then well sorry for my internet it isn't properly loaded but if i let you see the gallery just take a look at it so many games on linux just on flat hub and this is besides steam or heroic if you install steam or heroic then it will be just even better wait what is this advita demo it's a collection of examples that demonstrate libadvita features. For example, well yeah, about that, if you don't know, GNOME uses libadvita theme and, you know, design language throughout the system. And now do you want to know what next is? What's new? Well, for, it's obvious, the wallpaper. As you can see, there are pretty good wallpapers at last on GNOME. Last time I created a video about GNOME's updates and features, 
and I made a remark that literally the wallpapers were not good looking but now take a look just take a look at, look at this wallpaper it looks gorgeous doesn't it now if you go back and choose another wallpaper for example the dark mode of it then now take a look this is even better let's try some else like this one well this is way too vibrant so let's just move it to the dark version which i like this one this one actually looks gorgeous doesn't it and if you apply you know blur my shell or something like that then it will be just gorgeous but let's just go back to here and yeah don't forget you have accent colors as well so you can match things here and there and in order to show you the next update i'm gonna need to download a software from softwares and that is tweaks now you might be wondering like why tweaks hey wait a second well this tweaks is actually for cosmic desktop environment then where is the GNU tweaks you know this pantheon tweaks for elementary os well maybe it is this one refine all right so actually GNU tweaks is a native distribution application so we're gonna use refine here by hari rana the evil skeleton and if you don't know who you know the religion or the ethnicity of ranas then most probably Hari Rana is from Nepal. And now here we are. So as we are looking at it, there's the news that the fonts of GNU48, which are right now Cantarelle, are going to be changed into Advaita fonts. Like the very own font of the whole desktop and not some other outsourced. Alright, we can actually you you know change the header bars as well. For example, we can drag and drop these here and there. For example, it's now there. I can just change it to there that's good now if i want to use something else i'm gonna use it there or i can just keep it back this is actually nice and then we have variable refresh rate options as well fraction scaling and other stuff now i'm gonna use this one center the new windows that's just must have if you are a gnome or any desktop user so whenever i open an application it will be at the center of the desktop which looks pretty classy and now for the next app you know update i'm gonna have to maybe install another application no it's already installed gnome maps there it is and now if i were to search for my own location so maybe it is this button maybe well let me just show you where i am from so i'm from india for obviousness and most of you guys already know i am from up this place and now let's just zoom a little more and now if we zoom a little more you can see i'm from this area and before someone actually makes a comment and reveals where i'm from let me just show you here i am from this place i believe that's more than enough now what if i want to make it root from here to here so let's just start root from here so these are my coordinates and now let's say i want to go to somewhere else for example let me just choose a place where i will go in the next few months for example i will go somewhere around here and i'll be actually here and if you don't know greater noida is actually one of the best cities which are actually excelling in infrastructure as you can see the structure of the map you can actually guess this that this whole city was a planned out structure maybe one of the most advanced cities in india so there i am and i'd like to go to there let me just right click and click root to here now if now this is the map actually this is what i wanted to show you gnome maps is actually now a fully featured maps application just like google maps let's say if you want to you know see a place and then you'd like to sh you know see the photos of a few stuff then just click on that place and it will load it for you Just for example, I clicked it here. Now it is showing me a picture. And yeah, a description from Wikipedia. Greater Noida is a planned city located in Gautam Nagar district of Indian state of UP. Established in 1991 under the UP Industrial Area of Development Pact. Okay then. So yep, yeah, this is what I wanted to show you that GNU Maps is actually now a fully self-sustained but better maps application. And now with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, then subscribe for more awesome and now I will say regular Linux content which is uploaded consistently on the channel because I'm back guys.
and I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Om, signing out.